Welcome to Principles of Success. This is week three, session three. This course is a part of Malco Institute of Technology's leadership series. Our companion text is See You at the Top by Zig Ziglar. Welcome to week three, session three. Today, we will look at step two of the 15 steps to a healthier self-image. The way you look on the outside affects how you feel and see yourself on the inside. Step two, make sure your appearance is good. Keep yourself well-groomed, hygienically sound, and looking smart. The quickest, cheapest way to increase your self-image is to dress sharper. Looking good automatically boosts your self-image. The outward appearance affects your image and your performance. Employers report that employees do better work when they are neatly dressed. Making changes to your wardrobe and style can affect how you view your body, even if your body itself has not changed. You have the power of choice. You dress and groom your body, so you alone are in charge of how you appear to observers. One of the easiest ways to broadcast respect for yourself is to dress with care. The cycle of self-loathing is inextricably linked to the cycle of self-neglect. You feel bad and look bad. You feel worse and you look worse and on and on. But if you feel awful about how you look and work against that negativity by beautifying yourself with the tools you have at hand, more often than not, you'll spiral up. When you put effort into your appearance, you're less likely to hide from mirrors, eat junk food, and withdraw from social situations. I invite you to view this short video on power dressing for high self-esteem. Additional resources are available on our website. Join us next time for session four. There are ordinary happenings in our life we don't pay attention to. They have great impact on our, uh, our fortune. For instance, the way you dress is going to affect you, uh, your psychology, and also your fortune. So I'll give you a, an example that everybody can understand. You just go to dinner with a few friends, and then you look at your clothes, and then look at the clothes of other people, and then you immediately say, I'm underdressed. And then the whole time, you feel very low. You are what you are. But then the clothes make a difference. There was a uh, time when I used to tell people, if you want to really succeed in life, just dress well, regardless, in every, wherever you go. You should get rid of your wardrobe and then get a few really, really nice clothes. Instead of having 10 uh, ordinary clothes, just go and buy expensive, good-looking clothes well-fitting and use it. So clothes have tremendous uh, power to affect your psychology, the psychology of the onlookers, and also your fortune. So you have to be very careful. And if you are not by nature uh, very careful about how you dress or how you look, it is also again because of uh, certain planetary uh, combinations. Mm. You can do uh, a very simple uh, ritual to, which involves going to a certain vortices where the gods are named like clothing Shiva. Uh, uh, a fabric Vishnu or a textile Vishnu temples. And these temples uh, have been designed to give you 
self esteem through uh, correcting your uh, perception of of clothes and their importance in your life so all that you need to do is just go and donate clothing to uh, the temple uh, clothe the deity with this with nice silk clothes that's one thing or we can donate uh, clothes to poor people so by doing that then you will have the blessings to dress well and dressing well is everything so i used to give the example of the movie the made in manhattan jennifer lopez you know steals uh, the uh, millionaire's uh, clothes and then puts it on for a day and then everybody uh, who got to look at her thinks that she is a multimillionaire and then see her life then stands for what changes so clothes are very important so there is a, a, a way that you can correct your um, dressing consciousness